Let's go back old school, baby. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. Oh, you brought me victory. You brought me victory. right now 
What would you do with it? I, I just want you to think about it. Why don't you think about it? Now, some of you said tithe, and you know what? There are some people who would do that. Straight off the cuff. Natural, natural response. There are others who would contemplate. Do I really want to give up that much money? No, I'm, I'm being honest. Come on. Do, do I really want to write a check for a million dollars? Just think about it. What, what, what would you do with ten million dollars if we would if we were given to you today? And ten years from today, would you still have some money? Yeah. 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 I will tell you that data <laughs> statistics will tell you that eighty-five percent of those people who have large sums of money win or somehow attain large sums of money, usually are broke and are bankrupt within 10 years and sooner. Why? Mind. Your mind. Our mindset. How we think. How we think. Do you know that money does not change your mindset? Because you can be wealthy, you can be a multi-billionaire, and you have a poverty mentality, guess what? You're going to be busted and disgusted unless you have <laughs> enough wherewithal to invest in people. I'm not talking about making investments, but I mean invest in people who will order your life or your money. You know why? Because we don't have sense enough. Most of us are not educated enough. When I say educated, I'm talking about in the things of um, money. Finances. Thank you, that's a good word. Uh, finances to know what to do with what you have. Well, amen. Amen. Look at Psalm 100. It's a little warm in here, but uh, uh, for some of you, no, for some of you, it's just uh, Psalm 100, Psalm 100, and you do need a Bible or you need your your your, your digital gadgets or whatever uh, so that you can just go run a few scriptures and, and, and we're going to be gone. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. Amen? Amen. 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 All right, we got it? Amen. I, I have the ESV, whatever, whatever version you're reading, that's fine, but let's read together. Verse 1. Make a joyful noise to the Lord all the earth. Does that include you? Yes. Yeah, it does. Serve the Lord with not sorrowfully, but with what? Come into his presence with singing. Don't come in here moment. He, and, and you know what? We're not in his presence just when we enter uh, the sanctuary. Guess Amen. what? We're in his presence every day. Amen. Hello? Amen. Come on, tell somebody, sing unto the Lord. Sing unto the Lord. No, verse 3. What? No, that the Lord, he is be convinced of it. It is he who made us and for we are his people and the sheep of his hand. Somebody, you don't belong to yourself. You belong to him. Verse 4. Enter with and his voice with give thanks to him. Bless Do what? He's faithful. He's faithful. How many of you know he's faithful? He's 
faithful. Come on, say it. He's faithful. He's faithful. Hallelujah. Let's turn now to 105. No, 103. 103. 103. Psalm 103. Verse 1. Read. Bless the Lord. Oh, my what? Soul. So, my attitude, my emotions, my will. Everything that makes me me. Do what? Bless the Lord. Come on. Tell yourself, self. Self. All of me All will me. bless the Lord. Come on, my emotions, my emotions. will bless the Lord. Will bless the Lord. My, attitude my attitude will bless the Lord. My will in line with the word and bless the Lord. My mouth will bless the Lord. My tongue will bless the Lord. All of me will bless the Lord. What all that is with in me do what? Bless his name. Verse 2. Bless the Lord. Everything that's in me. And what? And not all his what? All his benefits. Who what? Gives all your iniquity. And what? Heals all your diseases. He what? Redeems your life from sins. And he what? Has said, if you will, his steadfast love is the sin. Come on, read. He says, so that your youth is renewed like Glory to his name. Glory to his name. But what other benefits you just read? Hallelujah. These are some of the benefits. And this, we're not even talking about covenant yet. We're not even talking about the blood covenant yet. Come on, tell somebody, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Before, Before the blood covenant. The blood. So how much more now are you blessed after the blood has been shed? How, come on. The, 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 the blood of Jesus accentuated this covenant. It didn't uh, erase it. It adds to it. It embellishes it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, tell somebody I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Come on, tell somebody else I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Come on, tell somebody else I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Look at verse 10. He does not deal with us according to our sins. Come on, say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Nor repay us according to our iniquities. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That's before Jesus. Before his death, that Amen. is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell somebody the Lord is good. The Lord is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 104. First verse. Read. Bless, Bless the Lord. Oh my, oh my soul. Oh, oh Lord my God. God. You are what? Very, very great. great. Very great. Come on, tell somebody he's very great. Very, very great. Come on, tell somebody else he's very great. He's very, very, very great. great. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 105. Verse 1. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. The Lord. The Lord. Do what? Call upon his name. His name. What? Make known his deeds among the people. Come on, that means talk about it. Don't give it to yourself. Yeah. Make noise about it. Talk about it. Hallelujah. Doesn't matter what Amen. folks say or what they say or how they feel. Come on, it's all good. Because Amen. the Lord is good and we are to give thanks to the Lord. Verse 2. Sing to him. Sing what? Praise his name. Tell of his wonders. His what? Has he done wondrous works in your life? If you don't think so, guess what? You woke up this morning. Amen. And you were able to move. Do you know that it's possible that you could have awakened and still not be mobile? Amen. Hello? Some of us can say that's 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 right because you've experienced it. How, how many of you can testify? I've had that happen. Amen. Couldn't move, just could look, want to move, but couldn't. Then if you did, it was a little cumbersome. How, how, how many of you Amen. have had that? Come on, we're not talking about age. We're talking about life. Amen. Hallelujah. Things happen. Come on, tell somebody things happen. Things happen. Yeah. Glory to God. 
That's why we don't need to anesthetize ourselves. Because you know what? Life happens and, and you are temporarily uh, unable to move. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And not because that's what you want to do. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. By the way, we read Dent is home. Amen. 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 All right, 106, Psalm. 106, verse 1. What does it say? Praise the Lord. Everybody with the Bible, but whatever you have there, verse 1 says the same thing in all translations. What does it say? Praise the Lord. Do what? Praise the Lord. So that, that denotes a activity, an action. Amen? Amen. Who can praise the Lord? We all have breath. Everybody that has what? Breath. Breath. Doesn't mean you right breath, good breath, sweet smelling breath, bad breath. Doesn't matter. The condition of your body does not matter. The condition of your heart really doesn't matter. But it says everything that has breath do what? Breath. Praise the Lord. Come on, tell somebody. Anybody can praise the Lord. Anybody can praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. If they can talk, if they can breathe, they have life, they can praise the Lord. Come on, tell somebody you can praise the Lord. Even if you're depressed, you can praise the Lord. Come on, even if you're angry, you can praise the Lord. One thing about praise, though, is that it can get contagious. Hallelujah. Meaning that when you enact praise, you are extolling the Lord. You are attributing to him the things that you want to attribute to him. His faithfulness, he's good. Uh, other things, ministry form, you need to be in the back with your people. Uh, those, those things that, that, that are good and that are tangible, you can praise the Lord. Even if you do nothing but just wave your hand. Come on, wave your hand if you can. Hallelujah. You may not be able to talk, hallelujah, but you can wiggle your toe, baby. Yeah. Huh? Uh, 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 some folks that, that are supposedly comatose have been known to give witness and praise the Lord even though they could not actively communicate. Oh, glory. There's something about getting that praise in your heart, in your mind, and knowing that in him I live and I move and I have my being, and as long as I have breath, I will praise the Lord. Take all that. Well, honey, yes it does. Because the word says, praise the Lord. Now, it didn't say how exuberant you had to be in praise them, but come on, tell somebody you need to give witness to his faithfulness. Amen. Oh, my, 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 my. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Come on, it's in your book. He is what? Good. For his what? Mercy. His steadfast love, as it said, endures forever. Endures forever. When you mess up. Uh -huh. when, you, when you stop being faithful. When you get lazy. When you choose, uh, I, gotta, I ain't gonna break the end, nothing for me. Forever. 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 Come on, tell somebody he loves you in your funk. He loves you in your funk. Amen. You know, you don't have folks around you who can deal with your attitude and your disposition every day, all day. Amen. And not feel Amen. nothing. Amen. Come on, you can't. Amen. Or choose not to. Amen. 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 Yeah, he loves us with an everlasting love. It's Amen. not Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. When you have an attitude, he still loves you. Yes, he does. When you want to dismiss him, he still loves you. Amen. When you say, oh, I ain't going to give no more, he ain't giving to me. Still Come on, tell somebody thank you for your love. Uh, thank you. Tell the Lord thank you for your love. Thank you. Yes. Come on, tell him. Thank you. Thank you for your love, Lord. Sometimes you don't know how to position or posture your mouth, your, your heart, to be thankful. But just guess what? Just say thank you. Thank you. Yeah, some people like all the groveling and all of that. Listen, God is not concerned with all of that theatrical stuff. 
Just tell him thank you. Come on, say thank you, Jesus. Come on, just say it again. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. There's something about thanking him no matter what. Turn to 1 Thessalonians 5.18. 1 Thessalonians 5.18. Yep, almost done. 1 Thessalonians 5.18. Got some monitors that are going to hold me to that. First Thessalonians 5.18. Do you have it? Yes. All right. We want to start with verse 12 because it sets the, the scenery for what we're, uh, uh, what's in 18. We ask you, brothers, to respect those who labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you and to esteem them very highly in love because of their work. Be at peace among yourselves. 14. And we urge you, I said we were starting at 12. Did everybody catch that? Yeah. yeah. 14. And we urge you, brothers, admonish the who? The idle or those who are uh, without purpose. Encourage the faint hearted. Help or support the weak. Be patient with them all. Tell somebody, exercise patience with all folks. Exercise patience with all folks. Listen, everybody is not where you are. Amen. And that may be a good thing. Amen. Yes. 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 But exercise patience. Tell somebody, we must allow patience to have for perfecting work. Do you know that as you mature in the Lord, your patience will increase? Yes. I said as you mature in the Lord, yes. your patience will increase. You don't have to ask, Lord, give me patience, give me patience. It, it is a matter of you activating it. You already have it. But I tell you what, as you grow in God, things will tend to matter less and less. You'll be less and less in a hurry, mm. especially for foolishness. Well, <laughs> sometimes we just need to grow up. That's why sometimes we don't get some blessings. Because some of us would stop going to church and would find a million vacations to go on if we got that $10, $10 million right now. Amen. We'd have trip after trip after trip. <laughs> oh, no. I'm just saying. All at once, all at one time. That would be the ideal time for you to take that trip around the world. God bless you. And some of us would do it without paying our tithes and not leaving offerings or sending them. We'd just be gone. <laughs> Investigating various sites. Amen. Some of us would buy a house that we could overlook the ocean. And that would become our temple. The place where you would worship. Come on, tell somebody, all of us are not ready. All of us are not ready. There's a reason you don't hand your keys over to a 10-year-old who is convinced that he or she can drive your car. That's right. Hello? Let me get more real with you. There is a reason perhaps you wouldn't give your keys to a 17-year-old who is convinced that they can drive your car and responsibly handle it. Hello? <laughs> Why this is kept? It's some who are, there are people who are your age Watch it, to whom you would not give your keys. <laughs> Hello? Amen. Tell the truth. Uh, I'm not naming names, I'm 
just saying. Okay. Just saying. And hopefully you wouldn't give your keys to a person who does not have insurance that would cover them in your car. Hopefully you wouldn't give your keys to someone who is not licensed in the state of California. Thank you. <clears throat> My daughters used to, when they were teenagers, they used to become very upset with me when I told them they couldn't move my car out of the driveway. You know, back it up and put it back in. They didn't have a license. And I didn't have insurance on them. So that meant I didn't need to give them a pipe dream, making them think that they were responsible drivers by pulling my car in and out of the driveway. So what? They had permits. And it meant nothing. Because anything can happen from the front of the driveway to the back or to the street. Have you ever heard of people getting hit? Come on, coming out of their driveway? I'll move my own car, thank you. Now that was then. I'm not so sure it would be different today. <laughs> Although I've learned some things. And have more patience. Amen. Come on, tell somebody patience. Patience. Does not, does not exonerate. Exonerate. Wisdom. Hello, hello, hello. Let's continue. And we urge you, brothers, that admonish the idle who we already did. That's 15. See that no one repays anyone, what? Evil. Evil for evil, but always, what? Seek to do good to and to seek to do what? Seek to do good. Now, if you're seeking to do good, that means you're not being vengeful, right? Hello, you can't do, the, do both of them at the same time. Right? Verse 16, what does it say? Rejoice always. Do what? Pray without ceasing. What else? What else? Give thanks in, in all situations, all circumstances. For this is what? This is the will of God. Come on, tell somebody who is the will of God. That you give thanks no matter what situation you're in. My brothers and sisters, listen. The hand of God will move much faster if you're thanking and praising Him. You pull tantrums with your mama and your daddy and whoever else you pull them with. Don't think they work with God. Amen. Because guess what? He already loves you. Come on, tell somebody he loves me with an everlasting love. So he's not moved by our tantrums or by our... ways. He's not moved by those. He's not impressed by those. Because you already start off with a full deck. In other words, you already start off with him loving you. Come on, tell somebody he loves you. Yeah. <laughs> but as we praise, as we're thankful, guess what? It broadens your heart, it expands and extends your patience, and it also lets him know how grateful and thankful you are. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we act like spoiled brats. <coughs> Amen. Amen. We have tantrums. Amen. We have tantrums of the one who created us. Then yeah. isn't that something? How, how does that? I mean, how do we do that? He's the one who gives us breath. He allows us to move and to live and have our, our, our being and to be active and to have what you have. Come on, tell somebody, God gave you what you have. And you're going to trip with him? Oh, help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Think about the 
fact that he gave us breath to reject him. He gave us breath to even say negative things about his faithfulness. It, 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 have mercy, have mercy. And yet he still loves us. Oh, Amen. He still loves us. That's one of the reasons I never, I never really needed anybody to pump me up to thank the Lord. When I think of the goodness of Jesus. And all that he's done for me. And I'm not talking about material things. How many of you know that he's brought you out of a horrible pit? How many of you can really identify and say, I've been in a pit. But he brought me out. He didn't cast me away. When I think of his infallible love, guess what? I know he's faithful and I'll thank him. Upon every thought, I thank him. God, thank you. Some of us brag about not having been in jail, not having been arrested. I'm thankful because you know what? Could have been me. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Some of us look down on folks. We pass by encampments of various descriptions. Guess what? Could have been you. Amen. It is essential that we have a heart of thanksgiving and that we give him thanks no matter the situation. So remind three people. Give him thanks no matter the situation. He's worthy to receive glory, honor, and praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hurt, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Don't understand what's going on. Praise the Lord. Feeling some kind of way about something. Praise the Lord. I tell you what, you cannot praise the Lord and stay in a funk or in a rut. Hallelujah. There's something about the praise that will just automatically elevate you. It, it, it's something that, that can help you get out of where you are so that you're able to move forward. Come on, tell somebody, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Move forward. Move forward. Come on, tell somebody else, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Move forward. Tell people all around you, don't get stuck. Move forward. No matter what. So, Father, we thank you that we're able to give you thanks. In every situation, every circumstance, we thank you. First Thessalonians, Paul instructs that we should even give thanks for all things. We thank you because you're God. Lord, and you order our lives. There are things we don't like, but thank you. Because you know our frame. You know our beginning from our end, and you have plans for us. We don't know. We suspect. We think we know. But you absolutely do know. For you are God. And you're omniscient. You know all things. And you do all things well. Thank you for loving us. With your His said, thank you. You've loved us with an everlasting love. And you've been faithful to us. Faithful and true you are. We give you glory. We give you peace. In Jesus' name, help us to walk by faith and not by our feelings, not by our emotions, not by our senses. In Jesus' name.
Help us, Lord, to give you thanks and thanksgiving. And we praise you. And we thank you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Put your hands together and bless the Lord. Come on, you stand in all things. We give you praise. We give you praise and thanksgiving at all times. In everything, we give you praise. We give you praise. Come on, you know it. Sing it. Responses, no.